Hi everyone, it's Nat here. I hope you've all been doing well. So I am on for Friendship Friday, which is a collaboration that is hosted by the lovely Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic. It's where you show the bits that you either receive for a friend or the goodies that you're going to send to a friend. Um, it's a bit about sharing the love. So today I have a little parcel that I received from the lovely Carolyn. Now, Carolyn is Lacey Creations on YouTube, so I'll link her and uh, Not Too Shabby Chic YouTube channel down below so you can check them both out. And Carolyn, I've been able to meet her a number of times now and I consider her a dear friend. And she had to go um, interstate for work, which was only meant to be for a little bit of time, but it's turning out to be longer and longer all the time, and I don't know if she's going to come back. <laughs> so um, I keep sending supplies up to her, and I received a lovely package from her the other day, which I'd like to share with everyone. So firstly, she has this beautiful paper. It's wrapping paper of some description, and I'm pretty sure it's from Enki Co., so it's I-N-K-Y-C-O. Um, yeah, and they make this awesome paper. And it's got all these adverts on it. So it's like newsprint. So that's going to be heaps of fun because I can cut out the individual print or just use it as pages in journal or to cover a journal or something. So she's given me a massive piece of that. And then there's this little piece as well that has Inky Coast sticker on it, which I'm going to keep somewhere so I remember the name. And that's got beautiful printed on it as well. So that was lovely of her to share that with me. And then she did have some playing cards that were absolutely gorgeous. So she sent me a couple of those, which she's wrapped up really nice with some... Um, seam binding which you don't find around here so I get a lot of the bias binding but I haven't got much seam binding so I'll treasure that piece very nice vintage looking piece and it looks like just enough to tie around journal as well so there's these awesome vintage they're like fashion ones aren't they they're beautiful and these flowers Beautiful gum trees they look like. Oh, she's giving me heaps of those. That one's really gorgeous. Looks like a nice red velour outfit. And then these, which are really sweet. So thank you for sharing those, Carol, and they'll be awesome to slip into some journals. What I'll do is put one of each away in my little collection and then the others can go into journals. And then the best thing she gave me was this. She had seen this and she really wanted some, so she bought a few copies and she sent one to me and I so love it. Absolutely beautiful book this is. It's The Secrets of a Devon Wood, uh, My Nature Journal by Jo Brown. And it's got the most amazing illustrations that she's um, drawn and coloured in, in here. And it's quite a recent book, this one. And the cover, look at that. Just screams from Mushroom and Fern Journal or something. It looks like it's got tentacles from an octopus or something there too. It's a bit fantasy-like. But lots and lots of ferns and mushrooms. So definitely reuse that cover sometime. This one's going to be hard for me to um, break up just yet. So, But it's got her um, writing in it as well, which is really neat. It's done in a diary format. And the copyright is 2020, so very, very new. But isn't it amazing? I absolutely love this. And I love that it's um, got a lot of bugs in it which are really cool. And you can even see where she's um, used um, uh, liquid, what do you call it? Can't even remember what it's called because I don't use it anymore. Liquid paper? <laughs> Something like that. Um, to ink out her mistakes and rewrite them. 
because liquid paper. But illustrations in this are just amazing. So a huge thank you to Carolyn for sharing one of these with me. I will treasure this. Absolutely beautiful. They look like um, drawings with pen and then coloured in with your coloured pencil. Giving a quick look at it all, why not? Yeah, just love all the bugs in there. And they're a perfect size for a journal as well. Be keeping an eye out in the bookshop for, for these coming in, although it will probably take a while since they're very recent books. There shouldn't be too many coming to the secondhand bookshop yet. Wish I could draw like that. And it looks like there's some memo pages in the back. And they're a nice um, creamy colour as well, which is awesome. So that is it for my Friendship Friday. Uh, thank you, Dale, for the collaboration. And um, thank you so much, Carolyn, for that awesome package of goodies. I'd completely forgotten that she was going to send me one of these. So I got such a nice surprise when it came the other day. So I have to find room for that in my collection next to my Edith Holden's, no doubt. So take care, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye.